I figured that Clark Kent and Derek Hale would probably have pretty, pretty different parenting styles. <laughs> Mine's probably a spoiler. So yeah. <laughs> I think I think I think at 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 this moment, pretty much everything's a spoiler. Yeah, yeah. I'd never seen a scene with Coach and Derek, so there is a Coach Derek scene in this because Eli just happens to be on the lacrosse team. So uh, I, and and after shooting, I was like, God, we should have had more of those. <laughs> they were so good together. I'm excited to see my brother in the movie. Really excited because I was there. I was like a dad. I was filming the entire thing on my phone, and I was just like. Eee! The whole entire time, and so I'm I'm really excited to watch how it comes together, and hopefully you don't cut him out. <laughs> Please God, tell him. It's it's been amazing that it actually happened. Um, a lot of times people talk about these things happening, and then they never do. So um, for it to actually all come together with where everybody was at in life and schedules and everything uh, was just a special moment. The my very first day was the first day of shooting, and. Uh, to see, like, to see Posey actually show up and to be on sets that we had been on before. It was very surreal, very surreal. Uh, a lot of hugs that day, a lot of, uh, a lot of I love you mans. And uh, yeah, it was just a great, great way to kick it off. So it's uh, special to be back. When we finished filming, you know, we, we keep in touch a lot, but we, you know, we have our own lives and, and, and it's hard to see each other often. For me, the last time we filmed, I was still a young adult. You know, and now I'm a man, I'm an adult. And so it's nice to share this experience again with you from where I am and really just like be present with you. And because I have a lot of love for you, dude. And it's 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 nice to finally be present enough to, yeah. you know, when I was younger, I was I was younger and I just didn't really, you know, I was still figuring myself out. And so it's nice to be around both of you as a little bit more of a figured out human being. It's really cool. Well, there's definitely a time jump. Scott is actually older than Tyler now. Right, which is bizarre. Which is interesting. Because yeah. he, was, he was always younger than me. <laughs> so I've, I've never played my age with Scott. It took me a little while to do the math, but I was like, okay, this is okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, what it allows us to do is it allows us to jump in time and to see where the characters are having grown up and having experienced all these life changes. And one of the big life changes is seeing Derek Hale with a son. So it was one of the things that we really I wanted to explore was what kind of dad would he be? I knew he was playing a dad on Superman and Lois, but I figured that Clark Kent and Derek Hale would probably have pretty pretty different parenting styles. I'll let, I'll let Derek speak more to that, Tyler Hecklin speak more to that. So we have a, a fantastic young actor named Vince Mattis who uh, plays Eli Hale, uh, Derek's son. And um, yeah, it was something that was really exciting for me. Again, like Jeff said, I am playing that on the show right now. It was a chance to get into that phase of life, but through a completely different lens. And so fewer rules to kind of go by with the character. And so it was fun kind of going back and forth between that set and our set. It made it fresh every time. And uh, I was really lucky to work with Vince. He's just such a great kid and fantastic young actor. So I think with, with a show, the best thing you can get from a showrunner and a writer is a great arc, because sometimes you can fall into the pit of just feeling like you're doing the same thing every year. With Derek, it never felt that way. I thought he had a great arc from where we started to where he finished on the show. And so to come into this now, again, with something completely new and fresh to play with, uh, was really, really fun and really exciting, so. Yeah, it's really interesting. We've been talking about it all day, but the more I talk about it, I'm like, God, that actually is really, really cool, where we took Scott. You know, Scott, last we saw, he was a teenager, you know, but with the responsibility of a thousand adults, you know, he was he was trying to save the world, save his friends, save himself, save his family. And uh, it was a stressful job. You know, he was in turmoil, constantly anxious. So he never really had time to be a normal person. And I think that's where he's at now. He's really trying to not trying to. He's just feeling human again for the first time since he was 15 years old. He's moved out of Beacon Hills. He's trying to take a step away from the world that caused him so much hell. And just, he wants to see where he can go, you know, as a human. Everyone leaves their hometown, you know, when they, when they start to grow up and become an adult. And he just has sort of aspirations and goals, but he's definitely, something is missing. It's the first time he's felt uh, sort of depression as an adult and I think it's really cool because all of the fans who watch the show as kids are now adults and going through this sort of figuring out who you are as an adult who you want to be and that's where Scott is and it's really interesting to see that you know it's like the most human we've ever seen Scott since the first episode and that's just fun to play as an adult and bring that sort of 
one thing that Jeff's been so good at with this show is writing relatableness and and stuff that people go through and deep and kind of heavy scenarios and you did that again with this and it's 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 an honor to play your 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 words thank you thank you <laughs> do you want to say thank you again into the microphone just so that we thank you yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> it's incredibly important to me that people enjoy working on the show and that they feel good leaving um, after even a really tough day, that they're still ready to come back the next day. And I think that was part of our show. You hear all the time about Hollywood productions where they all hate each other, two people won't be in a scene. We never had that. We had our, our little family squabbles, but to see everyone come back, and everyone wanted to come back, and, and the crew wanted to come back, and I got so many emails like, if you're really doing this, I'd love to be part of it. I know I don't live there anymore, but I'll fly in. It was really gratifying to see that. We do treat it like a family, and I, I'm always amazed, because I keep up with them on Instagram, and it's like, they really do hang out with each other. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm like, I guess they like each other. Yeah. But I'll let, I'll let them speak to it. Yeah, we really owe that to you too, Jeff, of, of keeping a family vibe like it all trickles down and you know you're number one and y you do such a great job at making everybody feel welcomed and appreciated you know and like that you want to see us succeed and it, it just it feels it's really cool every everyone has a role in in the show but um i think it's always great when the roles expand and they're both producers on the movie they both have real big investment in it hecklin actually helped cast uh, Vince. He did He did the casting with him, he did the directing of it, and I was so happy to, to leave him to it. <laughs> and I'll actually say, we saw so many kids, and Vince was Hecklin's, does he know this? He was Vince was Hecklin's first choice mm -hmm. out of all of them, and he kept coming back to him. And I said, I think, I think he's right. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's do this again. And we had a call back and it just felt right. I was very uh, grateful for not just getting, you know, like a producer credit when I talked to Jeff about that. I didn't want to come on and just have that be a title, but I really wanted to participate. And they were really gracious to actually genuinely involve me in a lot of the process and especially with the casting. So, you know, reading with Vince and doing the callbacks on Zoom, again, was gracious enough to let me direct the actors, which was really kind of cool and unexpected. But I had a great time doing that and uh, growing up in this business, I've been on the other side of it so many times. Uh, it was a really special experience for me to be able to try to make it as comfortable for the young actors on the other side of it and make them feel like they were getting their best work done. Everybody did a great job. They all really did. Just for me, it always felt like there's something I want to say about Vince and the way he plays a character. Can I kind of say like who he reminds me of a little bit? No. no. Okay. <laughs> nope. So anyway, next, you'll next Comic Con. Next Comic Con. Nope. But there's. Uh, but there was just something about, you know, I mean, they all did a great job. There was something about his performance that I just felt like, I'm like, that is Derek's son. And it just, it just felt right. So we were lucky yeah. to have him in. Yeah. He fits right in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he yeah. really fits Yeah, fit he ended in. up fitting into the whole group. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of family, someone else who fits right in is Jesse Posey, Tyler's brother, who has a role as well. And he's hilarious. He's <laughs> really funny. It blew me away. I've, you know, I grew up with him. We film stuff all the time with each other. But watching him on set, I was so floored and blown away by his professionalism and how funny he was. He's the best, he's the funniest part of the whole movie. <laughs> and what's great about Teen Wolf is that Jeff tried to do a great job, uh, and always did a great job, of keeping everything well-rounded. You know, it was action, it was horror, it was romance, it was comedy, yeah. and so we still want to do that with the movie, and it's this really, really funny. Yeah. And my dad's in it too. So. 